what is the difference between sober living and rehab? And I also received another question, what services do sober livings provide? So I'm going to kind of answer both of those questions here. So rehab or inpatient treatment or even outpatient treatment or partial hospitalization, those centers provide clinical services. And so typically rehab is, is the first step in the recovery process. While someone's in treatment, while they're receiving clinical services, they're, they're typically in a bubble. They're in a bubble, and what I mean is that they, they, they wake up at a certain time, they go to treatment, they're in group, maybe they, maybe they get up in the morning at a certain time, make their bed, do their chore, whatever, and then they go to treatment, and while at treatment, they're going to be in group, they're going to have their individual sessions, they're going to have lunch at the set time every day, they're not going to have their phone, they're not going to have access to their phone, they're not going to have access to their computer, they're also going to do group in the afternoon, then they have dinner, then they have maybe a 12-step meeting, and then maybe they do yoga or some other sort of experiential therapy. And, and that's kind of what a day, a day looks like. So the, the triggers of everyday life don't really exist when a person is in treatment. So when they're in treatment, that's the first step. And for many people, it's it's necessary it's mandatory that they go to treatment and the triggers of every, everyday life are removed and they don't have to make decisions whereas sober living no clinical services are provided and this is really where a person that went to treatment gets to learn how to live life a different way develop new habits on their own because a person gets to make his own decisions or her own decisions on what he or she does with his time throughout the day. So the triggers of everyday life start to be thrown at you and and it's just and it's different. It's not as safe, but it's necessary. So being in a sober living, being in a structured environment with support, accountability, a community of other people that want to be clean and sober, other people that are working a program that typically is the the next the next thing uh, sober living homes do not accept insurance many people say that sober living is as in, just as important if not more important than treatment because again this is where a person is learning how to live life differently as opposed to just being told what to do and their schedule is completely set for them so again curveballs the triggers of everyday life you're stressed out things happen which if you're in a supportive, sober living environment, making the decision not to drink, not to use, not to go back to your old behavior is a step in the right direction. And it gets you farther away from the last drink or the last drug or the last time you displayed the, that addictive behavior.